update. As I'm getting ready to go to work, I realize that I deleted every footage for the uh, brush out of the foam rollers that was supposed to go up today. So instead, this video is going up, which I had already pre-planned too, uh, but just so you know, the foam roller one is coming. I just now have to refilm it. Hi there! So this is just a little bonus video for the week. Hello, how's it going? Uh, so my friend Rochelle sent me this link to a BuzzFeed quiz. Uh, it was posted on November 23rd, 2016, and it is titled, Could You Pass a 1954 Home Economics Class? I am almost certain I cannot, uh, but we are going to try together today. So, let us start. So what's the first thing you should do when you wake up in the morning? Make your bed, open your window, put on your robe, brush your teeth. So I'm basing this off of Cinderella. So from that movie, I got that you open your window to let the fresh air in. So I'm gonna say open your window. Come on, get up you say. Time to start another day. Even. <gasps> I was correct! Before you go to breakfast, open your window. The idea is to let your bed air out while you're eating breakfast. How often should you wash your stockings? Every day when you take them off, every two to three weeks, once per week, once per month. Nylon is very sensitive, but also you have to be clean. So I'm going to say every day when you take them off. <gasps> Correct! According to the book, your stockings should be washed every day when you take them off. Oh, I'm doing so good. How often should you clean your toilet? Once a day, twice a day, once a week. See, the thing is, like, the women at this period of time were at home enjoying life, right? This was after the war. We're gonna say once a week. We're just gonna go with once a, once a day. The toilet should be washed daily with strong soap, a long-handled brush, or cloth, which may be burned afterwards, yes burned it should be burned how often should you wash your hair now studies have shown that you're not supposed to wash it every day you're supposed to wash it every other day but things were different back then as we can tell with the toilet brush thing okay so it says once a day every other day once a week or twice a month i'm gonna say once a day i'm gonna say once a day because damn it <laughs> it's twice a month the hair should be shampooed regularly at least every two weeks and more often if it gets dirty that's regularly at least every two weeks. Should we be doing that now? How would you go about introducing your friend Gloria to your parents? Mother, I'd like to introduce you to Gloria Adams. Gloria, this is my mother. Father, I'd like you to introduce you to Gloria Adams. Gloria, this is my father. Mother, this is Gloria Adams. Father, I'd like to introduce you to Gloria Adams. Mother and father, this is Gloria Adams. Gloria, I'd like to introduce you to my mother and father. I have no idea. For some reason, the mother, this is Gloria Adams' father, I'd like to introduce you, seems to be more the correct term or way to say it, but I don't know. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna close my eyes and go. I got it right! Found this book. In making introduc introductions, there are a few simple rules to remember. Men and boys are introduced to women and girls. Young people are introduced to older people of the same sex. So you present Gloria to your mother and present your father to Gloria. And it says, yes, this is as confusing as hell. Yeah, what, what is, what is this, number nine? All right, is that Betty White? No, okay, I'm moving on. A right-handed person picks up a dish with her hand and place it in, places it in the washing pan. Then she holds up the dish with her hand and washes it with the dishcloth or mop, which is held in her Hand. I'm gonna have to go try this because I have no idea what is being said. So let's try that. Right, so a right-handed person would pick up the dish. I have, I am right-handed, I would pick it up with my right hand. And then it says, and place it, is, it in the washing pan. Then she holds up the dish with, okay, put it down. Then she picks it up with her, I'm going to assume left hand because the reason I say this is because I will wash it with my dominant hand. So this and then this. Let's let's go. What? Okay. Well, that was a fun, fun test. Let's, yeah. Okay. We'll leave that dish for later. <gasps> ding 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 ding. 
A right-handed person picks up a dish with her right hand, right hand, and places it in the washing pan. Then she holds the dish with her left hand and washes it with her right hand. Why is that important? When serving a meal, place all dishes to the blank of the person being served using your blank hand. Place beverages to the blank of the person being served using your blank hand. Huh? I'm gonna go right, right, left, left. The ideal family structure is a blank. Patriarchy, democracy. It's going to be, it probably will be democracy because they want to give this feeling of equality. But really, it's going to be patriarchy. See, I knew it! I knew it! I am good! The work a mother does in the home is called a gift. No, I don't know. Labor, income, emotional labor, a gift, a natural extension of her God-given talents. A gift. I'm gonna, but it feels like natural extension of God-given talent. Did I get it right? Did I get it right? Wrong! Labor income. I got five out of 19 right. You probably would have failed home economics. When it comes to the domestic arts, you still have a lot to learn. You have been known to leave dirty dishes lying around. You don't give a damn about the proper way to clean things and you probably butter your entire slice of bread before eating it. Yeah, that's, that's accurate, so. Well, that was fun. We all know I'm a failure now. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to take the test yourself, you can go ahead and click on the link down below. Let me know what your score is. Are you above five? Are you below five? Are you zero? I can't believe I even got five right. I was on a streak at the very beginning. Let me know. Don't forget guys to stay scrumptious and if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell so that, that looks like a cross, but don't forget to hit the little bell so that you can get alerts on when videos are being posted.